I wanted to show you a little bit about the distance accumulation tool. This is a new version of the Euclidean distance tool, and I wanted to show it to you because I don't want to show you the Euclidean distance tool and have it disappear um, in a few years. Let's talk about where you might want to use this tool. So here we're looking at San Diego grocery, grocery stores and supermarkets, as well as the county boundary. Perhaps grocery stores and supermarkets is one of our inputs for a site suitability analysis or a hazard map if we're looking at um, uh, maybe food deserts or something like that. So this grocery stores and supermarkets include major chains, smaller grocery stores, and even smaller convenience stores. So any place you could buy food um, is included in here, even 7-Eleven. So this really gives an idea of just in general, how far are you from place you can buy food? So this tool, the distance accumulation tool. Um, the goal of this tool, it's going to calculate the straight line distance um, from the source, from each cell to sources. So for us, our sources are going to be all of our grocery, grocery stores and the output raster will be, uh, each cell will have a distance of how far it is. So this is helpful for determining how far away something is um, that you might wanna use uh, in terms of, you know, travel to a grocery store or an impedance for people that don't have a car to get to a grocery store. To, so straight line distance meeting as the bird flies, and there are diagrams you can look up. I'm trying to find one. I can't find it right now, but there are diagrams that explain like how you use the um, angles of a triangle and the, the longest side, which I um, to calculate that straight line distance. But we don't have to worry about that because it's all built into the tool. The first thing I want to do is make sure I set my outputs, I set my environments um, in the tool. So I'll make sure that we're in the same projection. I want to make sure that we process um, all the way across the San Diego County boundary. Um, the cell size, we can set that later if we wanted to, but um, I also want to use the county boundary as a mask. Okay, let's go back to our parameters. Um, so our input features will be those grocery stores and supermarkets. Um, this is what we're naming our output. Um, for us, we don't have any barrier or features or barrier rasters or features. So that could be... Um, if there was like an international border or something between these grocery stores, we knew we wouldn't be able to cross the border or something like that. I don't know. Um, we don't need any input service rasters because we're not concerned about elevation, though we could if we wanted to, um, because it will, like it says, calculate the actual surface distance. We don't have a cost raster, not at that point yet, or any of these other things. So this distance accumulation tool is actually now a combination of a whole bunch of um, distance tools. Um, Yep, no, we're not going to worry about that. So then we go ahead and click run. And you can see that we have our distance um, created and the warnings are some sources are located on mass cells and will not be processed. So um, that may mean that the grocery stores are located on a cell that would fall outside of the boundary. Um, or partially outside of the boundary. Uh, so perhaps this uh, point is too close to the boundary. Um, but we can see, we can turn off our county boundary or we can set it to be hollow. Um, and we can see that we have one because we set our environments to process the extent of the county. Um, we're seeing values for the entire extent of the county. And it's also been um, using that processing extent or the mask, it's essentially clipped it to the county boundary. From here, we can see the distance start to shape up. So we are looking at distance in, I'm going to guess, feet. Yeah, distance in feet um, from a grocery store. So do a quick conversion. So... Um, oops, I missed a number. Yep, I missed a zero. 
So this is about equal to, this highest value is about 20 miles from a grocery store um, to zero miles from a grocery store. So some of these very white areas are gonna be 20 miles from a grocery store. Now, remember we are, some caveats here, <laughs> Um, we are limiting this to just San Diego County. So for all I know, there could be a grocery store right on the edge of the county boundary that would reduce this. I don't know. Um, and then there are no uh, grocery stores listed as businesses for Camp Pendleton, but there are in fact stores on the base, but we don't necessarily have access uh, to those in the data that we have. So uh, yeah, so we're seeing the further away areas in red and white and pink, the closer areas in green. This then we can use in a um, model or in a classification analysis where we can say, okay, we are interested in grocery stores that are less than a quarter mile away. So that is uh, about, ah, oh, come on. Just want the math. All right, what's the quarter? Let's pull up this calculator. I guess the one in the, okay. Mm, no, yeah, okay. So about 1300 feet is a quarter of a mile. I think maybe I got it wrong, um, but we could search for the reclassify tool. <clears throat> use this as our input. Um, maybe we just want three classes. Oops. And we want to say uh, most desirable is under um, 1000. Let's just keep it simple. 14. Oops, too many. Eight. Um, and then a half mile, and then anything greater than that would be our upper value. So we can click OK, and then we can say this would be our preferred class, et cetera. Um, reclassify. Let that run. We can see all the cells that fall within that quarter mile boundary are the blue cells. The so that would be you know the best you know uh, location if you want to know if you're putting in like a transit stop or something. Most people walk a quarter mile, then you have a half mile um, from there as well. Um, so that's how you would reclassify that and you could add that into a model, of course, but that is the distance accumulation tool.